great game. Played like garbage first half as normal. Can't figure that one out. We're still trying to figure that one out. Came back in the second half and uh, got it all together. I'm thankful that for some kind of way we always win the toss where we defer to the second half and we're able to go down the second half, take it down and score, and then the rest is history. Then we commence to playing like we're capable of playing. Uh, great job by uh, Mississippi Valley and Coach Dancy. He fought his butt off, had his team. Uh, they played tough. They didn't quit. They didn't give up not one bit. And uh, hats off to him. Did thus far, uh, let's just take one now. Um, today was probably like a C plus, if I'm a, if I'm a teacher. C plus. We did some positive things. We did some really good things. But uh, first half, we got to figure that out. We really got to figure that out. And, and it's not just me. The, the, the young men, they're not satisfied with how we're coming out in the first half as well. We got to get it together. We're, we're gap control. A couple guys just trying to do their own thing and not just being disciplined and not being smart. And it's gap control. They're out of the gap. You don't want, want the thing about football, it, it, the Bible says all things work together for the good of those that love the Lord. Football is the same way. All things work together. So when one guy misses a gap or misses a block, it affects everyone. And that's what was happening. And I wanted to just uh, end that right there. I wanted to. Timeout, defense, let's let's take a deep breath, let's breathe, let's get take the people out who's making mistakes and put some guys in that won't and let's go. He's right there. Really just getting the ball in my hands, taking the completions, taking the easy throws and uh, that just builds up and builds up and builds up over time and be a career high game. We talk about the chemistry that you built over Dallas. Oh, Dallas, he, like I said uh, last week, he, he's an all-around player. He knows exactly what I'm thinking all the time, and he, we see out the same pair of eyes. So that's how he's able to be successful almost a lot of plays that we're out there together. We have good chemistry. Hey, Dallas, why is there a chance to stay with me? That stay was a good fit for me. Like, when I was doing my re uh, research on him, like, I heard Coach Barry Barloni coming in, and he was like, come from Nevada, Air Raid, so my last season, I wanted to be somewhere where they throw the ball a lot, and then it was a fit for me, and then just the atmosphere, and then the players and stuff when I came to my visit, so that's why I made the decision to come. Dallas is a darn pro. He's a pro. I know what it looks like. I've been there. I did it for 14 years on the field. I did it for 14 to 15 years um, broadcasting and, and journalism with the CBS as well as the NFL Network. I know what it looks like. This kid is a pro. I mean, he's an NFL player. Never complains, runs routes, could work the inside, could play in the slot, he could play outside. You, you, you get off him, he's going to route you up. If you bump him, he's going to give you something in the line, runs after catch, ain't scared to block. Um, he's a darn professional. Never cries about the ball. Once he got here, he took a, a silent. He was a silent leader. Then he built, grew into his leadership role with the receivers. The kid is a pro. Dallas, what's been the difference uh, the last two games as opposed to the first two games? For you? The last two games, really preparation. So, first two games we preparated, but we gotta be more, watch more film, and just stay on our opponent. Can't never uh, doubt no, nobody who we play against and just prepare, prepare right and just keep going. Well, I only, I only can answer like what we did this game, like last game that was behind us, but it's really just, just getting settled in the game, understand what the team's doing, uh, whatever. On film, whenever we go into each week, they do something different than they, they did on film before. So really understanding what they're doing, why they're doing, and uh, go out there and make an adjustment, and that's what you see. Really just letting the game come to us and just play the game. Like first half, we come out a little antsy, but like going into halftime, we know we got to make some corrections and come out on, on top. So we just got to keep playing. We got to bring that into the first half, and like we do in the second half. The running game has been a little complimentary of the passing game. Is it the rushing game? 
it's great to have balance. And uh, we're a tremendously balanced team. We got a plethora of running backs that can get the job done. Uh, as you saw today, and Sound T came back, he's not forgotten uh, whatsoever. You know, he just, his number was up today, he came back, and he went for 118 yards on six carries, which is phenomenal. So we have a running game now that balances it out. And we got linemen that's capable of, of pass blocking as well as run blocking. Coach, can you talk about maybe um, um, the hiring of Coach uh, Bergeron as far as what is the air rating and what, why you decided to Well, we, we, we were very dominant uh, defensively last year. And I called Coach Thurman in offseason. I wanted to know could they contend with 12 to 15 more snaps. You got to understand when you bring in someone with an air raid. Now you got to really make sure the defense can um, sustain 15 more snaps. Great teams that uh, I see Mississippi State. Um, I've seen Texas Tech in the past. Same Leach offense as well as Oklahoma done some tremendous things. But when that defense is on the field, shoot it. As long as they are, they they tend to suffer. So we knew we had a very dominant defense. We just needed to have an offense that can score at will and get pieces of the puzzle like this guy. And we knew he was going to grow and develop even more, especially with the line that we um, built for him. And it's it's been a tremendous bonus. Coach uh, Brett has done his job and then some. That do it. Go ahead. Yes, sir. I, I don't make the schedule. I, I wish I did. Um, I love the fact that we're going to play Alabama State for their homecoming. I love it. Quote me. I love it. Coach, can you talk about uh, Roman Icy, Shiloh, and Travis Henry? Uh, Travis is going to get fully healed. We got to make sure he's not playing and, and suffering through, through pain while he's trying to play. Uh, we want you to see the full offensive and defensive, Travis because he has it all. Um, Shiloh has to get back healthy. Um, who else? Who else we got? True, yeah, true, a big, big nose tackle. Yeah, we, we really think, and Doyle, we, we really think um, after this bye week, you may see four players that you hadn't seen in quite some time, and Shiloh may be one of them. I don't know if Travis is on that time schedule or not, but I cannot wait till you get to see us in its totality. Thank you very much. God bless you.